as you can see here, we've got a, a child painting on paper and exhaustively splashing the paint like, like that. Right, this brings out the inner emotion and feeling of anger and something else. I love it. As you can see here, it's a fence and a mix with some paint and some really textured items. I love this because it looks like my back garden. This one here is from Seven Down. It's got a watercolour and pen. This guy looks like he did a sketch on the scene on a beautiful day. You can see this person here? That person there is me on the beach having a flagon of Strongbow. And I think this is a beautiful composition by the way. The pen just comes over and I love it. If I can see, they draw a map out of the local villages. And so it's got a lot of history about it. They use these beautiful architectural drawings. They use printmaking, such as screen printing, on some written newspaper or paper. It's quite thick paper, but I reckon they've got some beautiful composition to it. And I reckon I like that. It's just a leaven painting because you can see the red and the oranges, which brings leaven and warmth to it. I think it's a motherly painting because it's the colours bring out my inner feelings and it makes me emotional and think of my mum. And the black here should right represent the child hugging the mother. You can see here, there's someone playing volleyball and it's got a fence or netting. But it's in a really kind of abstract, quick style. And I think the way it's a paintbrush shows all the scratching gives it a nice effect. And uh, I like the way the figure's been drawn in proportion for just showing the small details like, like that. And this gives out kind of a claw effect. So it shows you grabbing the volleyball and he's really chilled out. And volleyball is about being having a good day out. And this person's playing. They put the base colour down the hoops and draw on top of it. And it's called, uh, it went out quickly. It's called Dare You to Play because she only gets slow and uh, she's bending over to say, Go on, give it a go. You never know. Think Lotto. And uh, I like it because it's dripping, it it, it's got movement to it and it's uh, fantastic. You can see these ones, they use a lot of beeswax. Poor bees. All the wax is gone. Anyway, these shoes here have a very good sketch because they're very light, but it doesn't go much wear and tear to them. But I do like the shape of them because it's got a really nice sole to it. It's got no sole, but the beeswax is really soft, so it compensates for a really nice synthetic rubber sole. And I reckon this artist was called Meh Reaper. Naomi Smith imprint. It's basically what I did was to cover the shoe with beeswax. So cover it over, wax the shoe first, pull the wax off, and build the bottom off by hand. And this is how you make this beautiful piece of beeswax.